Hey, I'm just dropping this in a few places, uh, doing some shares, and then I'm going to get started. Just a minute. All right. I think I'm ready to go. So, what I'm here to talk about is this Fibonacci Phi Golden Spiral Ratio Money Magic ritual that I'm currently using my imagination to complete. And I think it's going to be an awesome experiment because I've already encountered a miracle. I mean, a small miracle, but when it's a perfect synchronicity, who cares how big of a miracle it is? A miracle is a miracle. So, I'll just say, uh, before I recap what the experiment was, it, what the experiment even is, which I will do, I'll tell you about the cool synchronicity that occurred. So, what uh, I planned on putting on my list of things to buy yesterday for my imaginary shopping list to do this ritual one of the most important things I wanted to get was a water filter system for my sink in my kitchen because you don't want to have <laughs> all of those crazy city water chemicals getting, you know, on your hands when you're washing your hands or on your dishes that you're clean, supposedly cleaning or the vegetables that you're washing to cook with. And I've had that problem for a while and I've just kind of been ignoring it. So... One thing I wanted to buy in my imaginary spend was a water filter system. And amazingly, before I could even do the practice yesterday and write down that thing and imagine buying it, I found through someone sharing on Instagram a system, basically a, not a super elaborate one or expensive one, but one that definitely would work that was being given away for free by a company that was advertising it on Instagram. And I literally got it for free without having to pay anything except for shipping. And it was something that I intended to get soon, but I didn't exactly have the cash for yet. But <laughs> on the very day that during this imaginary money spending, money ritual thing uh, was happening, that I planned on buying it in that practice, then it just shows up for free. So I don't know what else to say other than that's kind of like a mild miracle and pretty magical cool first thing to have happened and you know there's more uh i could feel the mindset already shifting but i'll recap exactly what the experiment is in case you didn't catch the first live stream with me and pharaoh from yesterday uh you might want to even go find that because we get really in depth that one was like 50 minutes and i'm only here to update you in about a 15 minute update i would say overall and i'm going to keep these updates coming every day and We'll talk more about things like Phi and Fibonacci and what it might mean, even on a philosophical level. But today I just wanted to share a couple of the things I imaginarily spent. And I did throw in some pictures of Fibonacci stuff in nature because, you know, that's fun. And it's cool to reflect on. And there's so much more I could find. If you find any cool pictures of Fibonacci spirals in nature or you see them, send them to me. Because I'm going to be doing this for like a month. And the more material I get from you guys about your experiences and your research on the subject, the more I'll have to talk about. So think about think about helping me out with that. <laughs> I would appreciate it. 
What would be cooler though is if you were just doing the experiment yourself. I want to see a lot of us have amazing financial synchronicities occur because we are retuning our imaginations. Okay, okay, I promised I'd recap what the experiment actually is, and I will. What we are doing here is every day for roughly a month, we are spending imaginary money on paper that we are increasing the amount each day that we spend by the Fibonacci sequence. So what that means is you're adding up the previous two numbers in the sequence and uh, that's how you get the number for that day. It's pretty easy. Day one started with a thousand. Day two, a thousand. Day three, add those together, two thousand. Day four, add those together, three thousand. And yesterday in the recap, I did talk about the stuff I, I bought imaginarily with my first thousand dollars on the first two days and a lot of small stuff that just kind of added up to the thousand dollars but all cool stuff that was helpful to me or good gifts for other people on my third day which was yesterday like I said I was gonna buy that water filter <clears throat> I was gonna buy that water filter thing and then I decided I didn't even need that yet I'll wait till I can imaginarily buy a really expensive nice one that will run the whole house and that'll come next because uh, I've got one on the way already that's a smaller one. Amazing. And so instead, with that $2,000 for day three, I actually gave it away to the... This isn't real, by the way. I wish, I, I wish it was, but I really imagined it. <laughs> I imaginarily gave it away to uh, somebody I knew who had just gone through a loss of a, loved, a very close loved one and was just hopefully going to help them, uh, you know get through that situation more easily because there's so many expenses with that and something I really do wish I could do in real life you know so I pictured it a lot and tried to in the process of imagining giving this person money try to also project them love through my mind through the imagination through my heart because I think that we have the capability of doing some kind of long-range healing and help of each other that way and it definitely can't hurt. I mean, it's kind of like prayer. You just want them to be well, happy, healthy, whole. And the money is a symbol of that. So just imagining giving them money is a good way to imagine sending them love. Because money is just, in this context, a symbol for love. It's not that money is the end-all, be-all symbol for love. That's important to know. It's just one symbol for the energy of abundance in this universe. So anyway, that's what I did with day three. Imaginarily gave $2,000 to a person who could probably use more than that right now to help them get through their time. But it all comes from all the places it needs to, and we always have what we need. And uh, hopefully this person has what they need, even though I couldn't actually give them $2,000. Today, my day four, I had $3,000 to spend, imaginarily. And on that one, I actually gave it to my mom and dad because I owed them about that much for something else from back in the day so to imagine this to really fire up the actual manifestation power of what draws this experience in I really visualize like every step of driving to the bank realizing I can't go through the ATM because there's too much cash and that I need to go in and talking to the bank teller having them count out the money taking it back to my mom giving it to her like I pictured all this because the visualization aspect is really important of doing this experiment and it's even why I'm doing these live streams about it is to reinforce it for myself and hopefully for anyone else that participates. Uh, and just like you might think in your mind, you might get a little movie that plays sometime of, I'm going to, you picture yourself going to the kitchen and opening the fridge and you see a snack in there and you pull it out and there you go. That's what you visualized. And then before you know it, like 20 minutes later, maybe an hour later, that very thing is happening. I mean, how many little things like this are all the time? Movies that play in your head, and then that thing happens. Because it's, you know, maybe it's stuff you would expect to happen. It's kind of basic, boring, everyday stuff. But it, it's still an example of what I'm talking about. It ha everything that happens, happens twice. It happens first in the imagination, or, or in other words, the mind. And then it happens for real. So, um... Why not 
through step one of the process of uh, actually not being broke anymore and imagine it first with me. I mean, what do you guys even have to lose? This is what blows my mind that, that this isn't even like more popular of a topic. I can't believe it's not just blowing up because it can't hurt anything. And if it works to retrain your unconscious mind to actually believe that you're not broke and then act differently, well, great. You have nothing to lose, though. It either works or, or you spent a little bit of time imagining what uh, you would spend your money on, which actually can be useful anyway, because someday if you do have the money, now you have a plan that you've already kind of thought through about stuff that you need. So you're spending time thinking about your own future and your own growth. What can be harmful about that? <laughs> why, why is that so unpopular? Why would we rather spend our time watching some TV show about some anti-hero just because the name of the show has Ozark in it and we're from the Ozarks or some of us are? I don't know. I just saw an ad for that TV show on Firefox and I was like, or maybe it was on Facebook. I don't know. And I was like, what the hell? Another show about an anti-hero. Why don't we make our own TV show about ourselves and we're an actual hero? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. I mean, you live your life. You do you. But the hero would start taking steps to change their life for the better. You'd get a nice little montage. So why not turn the next month into a montage of yourself doing this five-minute practice of spending money on paper in the Fibonacci sequence and in the first episode we did talk a, a bit about why we're doing it with the Fibonacci five spiral in mind and that is pretty important and uh, we'll talk more about that in future updates you may notice that Pharaoh's not with me tonight we tried we played a lot of message tag but we couldn't quite connect to do this together today but we got like a whole month so it'll work out and didn't really get anybody in the live uh, chat tonight, and that's okay too. I'm gonna do this for a month. I feel like this is a valuable experiment to record, even if it doesn't get a lot of action while it's actually playing live. Who cares? I can talk to myself all night. Look, I'm doing it right now. <laughs> and you're watching it some other time in the future. Even if it's like years in the future, it really can't hurt you to try this experiment. I urge you. Try it out. Let me know what happens. I want all of us to be living examples of the power of our imagination to generate abundance. Why not? What do you have to lose? What can it hurt? If you are watching this video a little bit later, why not also go share the video or maybe share part one or the whole playlist because when this whole series is completed, it'll be a playlist. And thank yourself for showing up for information that is to your greatest good hopefully at least that's the intent and intention carries a lot of weight or lightens a lot of weight you could say depending on what the intention is all right hopefully we'll be back tomorrow with barrow uh i think i'm done here and i love this update it was fun i love doing this i love streaming more it's gonna be a thing but I'm going to go eat some vegetables that exhibit golden mean rectangles and Fibonacci spirals in them and absorb the life force energy in the form of dinner and uh, be done with this stream for now. Thanks for joining me. And like I said, thanks for showing up for yourself and bringing this powerful message into your awareness that you actually have the power to generate miracles, large and small. And you do it all the time, but why not really dial it in here? And we'll catch you with another update tomorrow. And we'll see if any more miracles develop. Actually, you know what? Okay. I will tell one more mild miracle, if you will. I had an appointment this morning for a massage. I've only had a massage one other time, and it was great. And I really wanted to do this one. But I kind of screwed up and scheduled an, uh, some work that I had to do that I with other people at the same time as the massage. So uh, I tried to give it to my partner, but she was busy. So I was like, okay, I don't want the massage therapist to be out on their time where they scheduled this. You know, this is their livelihood. So I called up a friend and I was like, hey man, you want a massage on me? I'll prepay for it. You just got to show up for my appointment slot that I can't make it to just on me for, for free. And uh, he was like, yeah, I do, of course. <laughs> and so 
Anyway, kind of something I've just really never would have even popped in my head to do maybe in the past, which is I can't have this thing that I was going to have for myself. So just instead I would cancel it and then, you know, the therapist would then not have a, a client and yada yada. <clears throat> instead, I thought I'll give it away because I can just give things away and not worry about it because there'll always be enough. And then somehow there is i don't know how to describe it but it's like the last couple of days the money in my bank is just going further i know it sounds weird it's a very subjective thing but i feel like i've got more to give more to share more opportunities coming my way than ever before and dang it feels good <laughs> okay well like i said earlier i'm gonna wrap this up uh, i just had to get that one little thing out there that I already kind of feel a little more generous and feel like giving a little more than I felt before I started doing this. And it's only been four days, so something's happening to my mind. And I like it. I feel really good about it. Giving and receiving in abundance. Why not? Because we can. Why, why limit ourselves? We're infinite. All right, well, that was perfect. I was going for about 15 minutes, and I... I think that was about a 15 minute broadcast if you cut out the two minutes of me setting up at the beginning. Thanks for checking it out. Wholeness and balance vibrations, harmony of mind, and take good care of yourself. Let me know in the comments or in messages or in emails or any which way you can how the experiment's going for you so far or once you get a little farther into it. And share far and wide the knowledge of self-empowerment that we are carrying here so thank you and until we speak again see ya <laughs>